You know whose shirt actually is glow in the dark? Spencer. <laughs> and Rand. Take 500. One of the only times that saying and ran didn't make sense. That would, yeah. But it's I mean, it still kind of does, though, because you're, you know, pretty light. I am very light. I actually think I do glow in the dark. It's probably. Do. Naturally. <laughs> Let's Naturally. figure out how we're going to glow. In... Let's figure out how we're going to glow in the dark. Let's figure out how we're going to end this episode. <laughs> um, let's do... Cut. Sure. Okie dokie. We keep talking, but the show ends abruptly before we reach a conclusion. So, since we chose that ending, I'm going to go ahead and thank the audience for subscribing and liking this video. Please leave your comments below at the conclusion about whatever it is we talked about. Yeah. Which, t today is going to be about fashion eras. Yeah. Tell us about this topic, buddy. Okay, so, so I know people are always talking about, like, you know, oh, what era do you want to live in? Mm -hmm. But, but Cowboy. one thing that people don't, mm, one thing that people don't <laughs> always think about is... What type of fashion era do you want to look like? Because like, he had, like, you know, the 40s, 50s, 60s, mm -hmm. 70s, you know, 2000s, mm -hmm. 90s, which is a dark era. The 90s was a dark era. Dark times. But, um, yeah, so, so like, what era would, would you want to, like, bring back fashion-wise? <coughs> I think that, first of all, if, if I could pick an era to, to truly bring back... I love a lot about the Renaissance era. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, just the, the, the dressing styles, especially among the nobility back mm -hmm, then. Mm -hmm. Throughout the world. Yeah, well. no, Out everywhere. in Asia, in yeah, Europe, no, everywhere. They knew how to, to dress it up. Yeah. So posh. But to, to go more to your, to what I think your question means, I think, like, the mid-1800s. 1800s, 1800s <clears throat> okay. Like, when they had, like, the, like, you could wear, like, the big, giant, puffy ties and, like, the knickers. And everything, you know, all that stuff was so mm -hmm, much. Mm -hmm. I, I have actually considered like dressing like that for church. That'd like, just be, going that'd dress be like that. awesome. I'm not gonna lie, <clears throat> that would be actually pretty cool. And knickers was more of a late 1700s thing, but still, but still, you know, they had the, the fancy pants, and not everybody dressed the same. Now everybody wears the 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 shirt with the tie or the bow tie and the jacket, and that's how men dress. Back then, you had like all these different ways to dress a little differently and touch up here and there, and I liked it. Okay. Hats. I'm not gonna lie, I really like the 1950s. That's good because, because there's the low, no lying rule on this show, so don't lie. Go ahead, 50s. <laughs> yeah, no, because like the 50s, like most men wore suits. Yeah. Every day you wore you you had you know your suspenders on or whatever like mm -hmm. underneath to keep your pants up, but then you wore like a nice shirt, tie, suit coat. And then in the winter, you know, like an overcoat. And then, like, you have, like, a hat on if you're, you know, feeling fancy. But, like, most guys wore that. And the girls, they wore, like, a nice dress mm -hmm. or maybe, like, a shorter dress, skirt, skirt possibly, blouse, yeah. or a blouse, you know. And then and everybody just, hair was on point. Yeah. Like, makeup was on point. Like, everybody looked good. The term on point wasn't around yet? Nope. But they knew it. They knew what it was. They just didn't know what to call it yet. And it was... It was back in a day that, you know, you you cared how you looked when you went out. It's very true. It was a it was it was a statement that, that mm -hmm. what you made when you walked out that door, that was who you were that yes. day. And when you went to work you dressed up because when you dress up you feel like working. Mm -hmm. You feel for, you feel more professional, so you feel like I can do this professional job because I I look the part. Yeah, it affects your attitude, it affects your mindset. I actually wouldn't mind if